on the winds of the furious 50s, an albatross echoes the spirit of a lonely, windswept land. South Georgia, an Antarctic island of great beauty, a mere dot in the great southern ocean. The only approach is by sea, and the island itself resists efforts to land there. Yet, for more than 300 years, people have been sailing to South Georgia to exploit what they can. These ruins were once the world's greatest whaling empire. Now, after the insatiable demand for whale oil has passed, they're a testament to decades of greed and unremitting slaughter. By 1966, the Southern Ocean was deathly quiet. There was nothing left to hunt, and the gold rush days of whaling in South Georgia were over. A few hardy survivors were richer, but the world was poorer by nearly 200,000 whales. South Georgia's 100 angular miles are enclosed by the waters of the Antarctic Convergence, a biological frontier where the warmer South Atlantic Ocean collides violently with a cold Antarctic sea, stirring up a natural marine soup. This rich food source totally sustains the vast numbers of birds and animals that live around the island. Perched precariously on tufts of tussock overhanging the sea, this small colony of blue-eyed shags has reason to look nervous. First described by explorers 200 years ago, they were shot and eaten by the crews of sailing ships. Then rats escaped from the whaling ships, quickly adapted to the harsh island life and thrived, causing havoc among South Georgia's ground nesting birds. Many birds, once prolific breeders, were in trouble. For the shags on this cliff face, the human legacy might well be extinction. Two seasons ago, 40 birds nested here. Now, only seven survive. <laughs>